Chris Jenkins calls himself the rock and roller. Could be a rock and roll type of fight. Chris Jenkins at British level has been solid. And like Matt said, and I said myself about what he's got left. Back in the day, big left hand he had and a very intense trainer. Jenkins giving it one last real go. Swinging on the side. Got caught there with that straight shot on the centre. And kind of Ben Yo shot they got. He'd have just got outside of that shot, so. Looking to whip that left hook to the body and then the head. And Dong was trying to get his right foot outside Chris's left foot. Every time he throws a jab, he steps on the outside. Chris boxing well, taking his time, having a good look, uh, and being patient. Second round here, Chris Jenkins. I think Chris is doing the right thing here. He's keeping his hands nice and tight. But he's not letting it, he's not getting reckless with his own defense. He's got to watch out for that backhand of Indongo. And Chris has worked now, he's staying a little bit closer. Which stops, it stops and Indongo landing on a long left hand. So he's trying to close. He really does bang that left hook around the side, outside of your peripheral vision. So he's got to keep that right hand nice and tight on the cheek. Just had a pretty good chin. Ends from the distance many times. Those fights with Tyro Nurse and City Hall yesterday at the ceremonial weigh-in. Yeah, he's a popular type, and you know, it's not just his character, he comes to fight. He doesn't come to win on points, he comes to put the pace on. He's doing some excellent work there, body and head as well. And uh, beginning to let his shots flow, as well as decent defence. And on top of him working the body, the, the, the left hook, body and head is working really well for Jenkins. It's well, got timing, isn't it, this sport now? Jenkins just got to keep that head moving, doesn't want that pace up. Like Matt said, he needs to be constantly moving. I think Indongo's got the same burst they've got to give Luis Ortiz a burst they've got the 38. Looking at the record though of Indongo. You know, a lot of knockout defeats. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, time waits for nobody and busy, bustling. Chris Jenkins really focused and fiery. Sort of tough run through the pandemics, had to take, keep the money coming in. But sees this as one big last opportunity. He's making Indongo work. He's 38, he's 38 years of age, let him feel his age, let him work them legs. Yeah, and he's under a lot of mental pressure here as well, you know, the presence and the pressure, the you know, nervous energy burning a lot up here. You know, I think Ollie Field said it best, educated pressure. Good right hand from Jenkins as he tries to close down Indongo, who's still flowing. But how long can he keep this going? He's almost, he's almost putting it all on the line here, isn't he, Indongo? Going for one last big performance. He's, Chris has made him work at a pace he doesn't want to work with. And, you know, he's, he's, he's starting to struggle, he's starting to get a bit more ragged, he's getting caught a lot more. Perfect game playing by Gary and Chris at the moment. And wide with the shots is Indongo, so he should try and catch that and then come back with his own punch. You can see, you can see Indongo, he's struggling up close, he's trying to, he's trying to throw, but this isn't his style of fight. Good shot there by Indongo. This isn't his style of fight, this is Chris's style of fight. This is a fight where Chris is going to make him work, make him tired, and, and you know, he's hopefully going to take over more and more as the fight goes on. But he was once very classy, wasn't he? He then become a world champion. Represent your country at the Olympics if you can't fight, he can do that, but the legs look shaky. Indongo having to work pretty hard here. He wants, to, he wants to, where they are, a certain pass without a little bit of distance, that's what he wants, but Chris, Chris is making him work. And he just chucked a little body shot out there, Chris. Could be a key here in the next round or two. This the fourth, when he went down to Hassan Maradino in Tanzania. And that's not a name that stands out. This is now Chris Jenkins' chance. He's, he's keeping the work, but he, he's got to be careful. You know, Indongo still got a couple of rounds left in him with the, with the power. You know, he is starting to look a bit more ragged. He's starting to get caught a little bit more. Unfortunately, at his age, he's, he's struggling to get out of those corners. Back tip to the corner. Maybe these body shots now are the answer that. He's, you know, you can see Indongo's really struggling with the pace in that at the moment. Yeah, it is. You know, I think he's got a swelling on his eye as well. Uh, so a couple of shots have come in, Chris have been catching a little left, but he's really struggling with the pace. Those body shots are starting to wear him down, and you know, you've seen the way he slumped down in that corner. Irritation in the right eye of Indongo as well to deal with it. Oh.
engine of Chris Jenkins has always been a, a major part of his arsenal. Just slipping there, sliding on those 38-year-old legs, Julius Indongo. Farrell kind of slumped into the corner as well, and, you know, Chris Jenkins can kind of step on it now, second half here, and just try and turn the screw. I think he could maybe get Indongo out there. Left hand to the body, tries the right as well. It's obvious what he's attempting, and the gloves are getting lower from Indongo, trying to protect that area, but... The reflexes just aren't what they were. Oh, he's not. Like Matt said, I think if, if Chris ups the pace and you know, he, he puts on a bit, turns the screw, Chris is in control of the foot control now. So he's dipping under the right hand, throwing him left up to the body. And you know, in Dongo's legs look really, they look weaker than they did, and he's getting caught with more shots. And the eight knockouts on the slate in 29 fights for Chris Jenkins. But it could just be all about the resistance of. Oh, giving it everything really from the opening bell in terms of you know, velocity, trying, variety, and work rate, but he's not keeping it up, and it's really changed in the last five or six minutes as Jenkins throws in another right hand. Just won't leave him alone. You know, that's what he's got to do because he's not allowing him the room, he's not allowing him the time, he's not letting him breathe. He's got to keep this pressure on him. You, know, you can see Ndongo's really struggling in it. And I think when the fight was first arranged, the first part of Ndongo, he looked at Chris, he looked at the level Chris boxed at, he looked at the level he's boxed at, and he's struggling. And he, he's, trying, he's struggling hard, he's been putting under a lot of pressure, he's gone very ragged. Uh, and he, to be honest, he just doesn't, he doesn't seem like he wants to be in there at the moment. It's Jenkins dominating now against Julius Indongo. And, you know, Chris has just proven a nightmare for him tonight, but Chris has just got to be a little bit careful. He's got some... You can see the old class. He's struggling to sustain it. Indongo is uncomfortable, so I think the more he can keep the pressure on him, the better. Chris at the moment as well. You know, I talked about the pot control between the self. Good amateur he was, Chris Jenkins. Those injuries, the, the cuts. Difficult nights. Yeah, he's boxing very well. And you say about we haven't cemented his thing, but British titles, when a fighter starts off, if you can win a British title, that, you're, that is your, the ultimate. When you get to those worlds, of, like you said, it'd be great if you could get a European shot. But, you know, the you know, last couple of rounds here and step back on the pace. But, you know, I thought Ndongo probably nicked that one. Ndongo was quite a revelation, wasn't he, up in Scotland when he beat some hard, hard fights. Stoppage, but he's got to do more here. The Namibian. Yeah, he did. He needed them first couple of rounds. We knew Chris. He, was, he just wasn't able to react to Chris's style. A great gas tank. But like you said in the last round, he's a bit slower off the mark. And he is this round. He's getting caught with a few more shots. Decent from Indongo. This and a nice left hand straight down the pipe as well. Yeah. You know the last couple of rounds here, Indongo has just found room, found time, pushing back onto the ropes, worked the body. It's that space, isn't it, with that awkward southpaw style. No, he's, give, he's giving him too much room here, he's standing back, and, and that's allowing Indongo. Julius Indongo about to just press back into this one, winning several of the rounds. How are you guys seeing it now? Well, he was sailing away with things around. The last couple of rounds, he's just kind of eased off the, the gas, and he's allowed Indongo back into it. Those last two rounds, they were close. They Chris, Chris was allowing him more room. Chris, was, he needs to step this pace up, you know, to put himself back into the fight. Career. Still looks uh, certainly the tenacity and the drive appear to be there. He's been sort of coached back into it. Uh, he's been very unlucky with injuries, hasn't he? Cuts, ribs as well. And when you put you know all your time, energy, money as well, if it's uh, not even the fight, not even to happen because through it. Yeah, you know, I think he's. I think he's not from the actual fight. I think he promised things they haven't been delivered to him. You know, you've got the weight in the shell. But people don't realise, unless you're at the top, top level, you don't make stupid amounts of money. So Chris is a hard grafter, he works hard, he loves the sport. That's a great point, Enzo. All of the fighters who reach this sort of level, British and Commonwealth too. Chris Jenkins still very much in the boxing business. And he should have a victory here over a, a game. And uh, at times, 
it. Certainly in those crucial middle rounds from Gary Lockett when he stayed in the pocket and he put the pressure on the older man of work. Does he didn't give him the time or the space to get those long, windy shots up, but when he does, when he did have room, Ndongo still looked dangerous. Good to see Julius Ndongo get through it. He didn't look like he might after three or four rounds, but a smile on the face of the Namibian. He's been good value over on our shores. Scoring about 78, 75 in favor of your winner, the rock and roller, Chris Jenkins. 1-0 to Wales for the night. The crowd like